Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let me show you Bloodborne on my Steam Deck Steam OS with the PlayStation 4 emulator, Shad PS4. So Shad PS4 recently got like updated into Emu Deck. So like now you can see here on my Steam Deck, uh, this is the home screen. I can just load directly into the game without going into the emulator and all that. It's actually quite good. If you're interested in learning how to get Emu Deck and Shad PS4 up and running on your Steam Deck, I'll leave a video link up here you can click on that check that out but there is a problem because that's not the best version for playing bloodborne because the emu deck version of shared ps4 uses the mainline build the main build and that's not the best so let me show you my gameplay I, i've actually oh, tried yeah. different builds um and i think i found the best build to play bloodborne on steam deck currently like it runs actually pretty good like i'll show you my my gameplay Okay, let me start a new game. So I'm actually using my Steam Deck and I'm opening the virtual keyboard to type my name during the character creation. Okay, so yeah, all that is good. And you can see on the top left side, I've got the FPS counter, the frame time and all that. So it looks like it crashed here, but it's fine. Just let it boot. Good. All signed and sealed. So we'll cut the cutscenes, no. but we'll skip it. I think you're more interested in gameplay. So later on in the video, I'll show you the build that I'm using. I don't think you can download it anymore from the GitHub, but I'll probably put it on uh, my Dropbox, so I'll share my build with you guys and I'll show you uh, the mods I'm using. Because I've been receiving messages, people like, they watch my emu deck shared PS4 and they say like Bloodborne doesn't run well. That's why I'm making this video. Like mine's running fine. You can see I'm getting like 30-ish, 40 here. But there is a stutter there when I went into a new new scene. But yeah, okay. But it's PS4 emulation, guys. Like, I think in one of my videos I said um, it runs great, and like some people were saying like this is not great. Like, guys, you gotta know we're running PlayStation 4 through emulation, so it's pretty much current gen or last gen system on on the, basically the same generation system. You know, this thing that's not that powerful, but it's still emulating this really, really well. So in my opinion, this, this runs great, honestly. I, 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 it's way better than what I'm expecting. Okay, let's go get some weapons. Okay. So if you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds. Hey. Go kill that. Good. That's better. That's a lot better. When you go into a new area, it does I think it has a little bit of stutter? See that? See that it dropped a little bit when 
But it's actually quite good on uh, Steam Deck already. Because uh, on the Lenovo Legion Go, I've also tried this. I think when you change to a new area, the stud is way worse. So what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about the performance that I'm playing right now on my Steam Deck. I think it's amazing, honestly. I think it's amazing. So maybe I'll play until I die. Oh, okay, that's a big starter there. There's a lot of enemies down here. So I think I'm gonna die pretty soon. Okay, here? Yeah. I'm dead. All right, so yeah, I think you know what we're getting into. Now, let me take you into desktop mode and I'll show you my settings and the version I'm using. See you back in desktop mode. Let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with Instant Gaming, make sure you check out their website using my link below. They offer games at big discounts, like really, really cheap prices, even newer games. So some games are up to 9% off. Even newer games, look, check this out. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This game's coming out on PC in 10 days. It's currently pre-order, but it's already at a 43% discount. So the standard edition is only like 40 euros. And you can buy it on Steam. Okay, so if you don't know how to activate it, once you buy from Instant Gaming, they'll give you the product code. And you go back to your Steam library, like add here, add activate a product on Steam. You enter in your code, and then the game just pops into your library like any other Steam game. So yeah, if you're buying games uh, from Steam or Epic Game Store, make sure you go over to instantgaming.com and compare the prices. You might save yourself a lot of money. Now let's get back to our video. Welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. So I assumed you already installed Emu Deck and Shad PS4. If you haven't done that, make sure you check out this video. Okay, so make sure you do all that. And then because like Shad PS4 on Emu Deck, okay, it's using the latest version. You want to download this version, okay? It's not available anymore. So I'll like link it in the description. Um, I'll upload it to my Dropbox. So this version was uh, released on December 14th, 2024. Okay, and like once you've installed Shad PS4 with Emu Deck, go to your home directory. And inside there's an applications directory. And in here, you'll have a Shad PS4 QT app image. Okay, we're gonna replace this because this is where your emulator is. Okay, so I'm going to extract this version over to my applications directory. And then make sure you run it once. Execute because it's gonna have this warning. Continue. And this is the version. Okay, it's it's an older version, version 0.4.1. Now there's 0.5.1, but yeah, this version works the best. Like if you want the performance for Bloodborne that I was getting at the start of the video, this is the version I'm using. Um, if you're using a newer version, it might not be as good. Okay, and for the game, I'm using this version. Okay, CUSA03173, and it's updated to version 1.09.
Okay. And then for the settings, so right click the game, cheats and patches. I'm using these patches. So if you don't have patches, go here and then respiratory, go to shared PS4 and then click download patches. And it's going to download. And these are the patches that I'm using. So skip intro, disable chromatic aberration, disable motion blur, disable HTTP requests, 60 FPS, force enable old hunters DLC, disable vsync and resolution patch 720p. Yeah, these are the patches that I'm using. Make sure you save. And for the emulator, basically it's on default. So you haven't changed anything here. Yeah. So graphics, you can either auto select or the AMD. This is the, my Steam Deck, okay? Uh, yes, 1280 by 720p. V blank divide up, set it to four. Fly, save. Okay, and for the mods, okay. So if you followed my video for MU Deck Shared PS4, your game folder should be in your home directory and then emulation. So depending on where you installed your MU Deck, if you installed it onto your SD card, this folder would be on your SD card location. I installed it onto my internal SSD, so it's in my home directory. Okay, and then inside here, you've got storage, shared PS4, games. This is where I stored my games. So if you remember, the, the number for my game is CUSA03173. Okay, here is my game directory, and I've got these mods. Okay, I'll leave a link for all these mods in the description. So let's install them one by one. So Vertex Explosion, extracted, and this is just DVD root. So it'll be just over into the root of my game. So just drag it and extract it over here because I've already got it. It's got to overwrite some files. Okay, you can back up your, your ROM if you, if you need to. Um, I've just got the PKG. So I've got the ROM as a PKG. You can see here, I've got the PKG. So this is already the backup. This is already installed. Okay, and then we've got um, point light removal. Okay, this is a map, map directory. So this one, go to your DVD root PS4 and inside here, there's a map. Okay, so this is the one, the map. So we actually have to extract it here inside the DVD root PS4. So just drag the map. Okay, make sure you don't put it inside one of these folders. Okay, make sure you do it properly. Okay, that's just overwrite. So that's basically how you install the mods. It's just overriding. Okay, material fix. Okay, this one's uh, a little bit different. Uh, I think this one's in MTD. Yeah, this one. So DVD root PS4 MTD. Okay, just replace this file. Okay. And then gray screen fix. Okay, this one's, um, let me see. I think it's in param, then draw param. Yeah, draw param. So this one, like you can check the description like uh, for the links for the mods. It will tell you how to install it. But yeah, I kind of remember this one's in this directory, param, draw param for the great screen fix. So I'm just going to drag all these files, drag it over here. Overwrite these files. Okay. And then fix core from beyond. This is the simple one. DVD root. Okay, so just drag and extract it here. Overwrite any existing files. And finally, FPS boost. Okay, this is map. So DVD root. Then extract it inside this folder. All right. Yep. That's yeah. Just make sure you install all your mods correctly into the right place. And finally, uh, this one I can't share with you. You're supposed to get these files from your 
modded PS4, or maybe you can find them online. I'm not sure, uh, but you shouldn't download it from online. That's that's uh, illegal. So go to your home directory and then make sure you click this hamburger button. Show hidden files. This is checked. We're going inside a hidden folder called .local, and then share. And inside here, you've got a shared PS4 directory. And here, sys modules. It should be blank if you haven't like got the files. So you're supposed to dump your own system modules. And then once you've got your files, you just paste them here for your emulator. Like it works without these files, but I'm not sure if there's any like fixes that these files might help with the emulation. Uh, so it's great to have this as well. All right, and that's it. That's it. That's it. Um, and then you've already got your, you've already got your shortcut from the previous video for showing you how to install EmuDeck, and you can just run it, and it runs really, really smooth. So yeah, let's take a look at it again in desktop mode. Continue. Should be continuing from where I just died. Yeah, it's smooth. Okay, so when you go into a new area, there's a little bit of a bit of a stutter there, but yeah, overall it's still. Still really smooth. I think it felt it felt a little bit better on gaming mode. It actually felt a little bit better on the on the gaming mode. I want to go to the area where there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, right here. Here's where I died. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if you have any issues and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.